What's up everybody, it's Mr. HD back here again for Ask Arrow episode 21 and you're probably seeing Call of Duty and I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. Um, I just, you know, I don't feel like playing just for the guys um, and I'm not not known for my skill in Call of Duty though I think these are pretty good games that I have here for you. Hopefully I haven't recorded them yet but I have them in my file share. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this goes well. Um, so let's just get started here. No fooling about. Uh, have you played Forza 1? If and Would you ever consider doing a series on it? I think I answered this, but I'm going to answer it again just to be safe. Um, no, I wouldn't do a series on it just because it seems a little irrelevant. But I might go back and play it, um, you know, for one play session as a Let's Play style. Or, like, you know, do a builder to kill it and that. Just as, you know. I'm not going to go play Forza 2 or Forza 3 or anything, but Forza 1 is so different from the Forza now. So it might, it might be cool. Um... Though I don't see that happening anytime soon. Though, thank you for giving me that little nugget of information. Um, what's your normal sleep pattern? I usually go to bed around 3 in the morning <laughs> and sleep. Uh, if I have to go to school, I get up at 8.30. Then I come home, usually have a nap for an hour, and then I'm good. Uh, or I sleep, go to bed like at 3 or 30 or 4 a.m. And then go to, if I don't have school, um... I go to, I wake up like at noon, between noon and two, so it's fucked, my sleep pattern's fucked. Um, speaking of no school, uh, happy, uh, happy family day to all the Canadians, or whatever provinces in Canada celebrate it, I know Ontario does, so it's basically a day off, get your chill with your fam, which for everybody else means go get drunk, <laughs> go get drunk on Sunday, um, what's your middle name, I don't feel comfortable disclosing that, just because the more information I give you guys about myself, um, the easier it is for you to find shit I don't want you to find, um, like personal things. So that's gonna stay with me. Um, what's a good car to start off drinking with the Forza Four? I've got one coming for you on Wednesday, so just keep an eye out for Wednesday's video, and uh, you should get some, uh, a good idea. What casual car would you like to see in FM5? Um, I don't know what you mean by casual. I'm assuming you mean something like not a race car something to that effect I would like to see god um I couldn't tell you I'm not cuz I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% sure what you mean by casual I guess the new fusion would be kind of cool to see in the game um, so they'll probably end up putting that in anyway but I don't know I like to look at the new fusion even if it looks like they ripped off a bunch of other cars um, Arrow, I was saying that the Super... Okay, this is from last week's guy. The Super has 950 BHP standard, and I cannot lower it anyway, but the torque is bang on 650, so I find it easy to drift. I put transmission stuff on it with no engine upgrades or braking springs, cage, and lighten it. I understand this. Um, you were talking about the Top Secret Supra, but the Top Secret Supra drifts stock. You don't have to touch it. Um, you know, I know it comes with 950 horsepower, but, uh, that's plenty. The torque is plenty. Um, to my memory, at least from Forza 3, you didn't really need to mess around with the brakes, springs, and the cage and everything. It just, it's fine the way it is. Um, either way, 950 horsepower in a Supra is a shit ton. So, rightfully so, when you start putting all those other parts on it, it does become R3. So I really have no idea to, to keep it S-Class and have all that in it, because that's not really possible. Um, you can try to put really heavy wheels on it, but that's all I can really think of. Hey, it's me again, along with some more shitty questions. Um, you can choose to read the quarter part or not. Um, I'm not going to do that. Um, which D1 car is your favorite? F favorite, favorite? All our new minds, personally, Mad Mike's. The B26B is just, I can't even. Next question. Um, actually, I would... Um... I think I think I think Nomuken's R34 is just one that I've, I like. That I like. I've always liked, so I'm gonna go with that. Either that or Kazama's Green S15. Uh, those are pretty much my two favorites. I do like Hibino's uh, A86 too. Pre SR20, SR20 is just they got like 500 horsepower. Why? What for? Um, if one of these things happened to your channel, bigger sub base or more views per video, which would you choose? Um, honestly, 11,000 subscribers is lots for me. If So if I just started getting, like, 11... I would like to see all my subscribers watching all my videos. That'd be pretty cool. 
Um, so for me, it'd be more views per video. Um, in turn, like those subscribers actually watching, actively watching everything I put out, um, rather than a sub base. Because I know people that have like two, three thousand, hundred thousand subscribers, and I get to about the same monthly views as they do. Um, so really, subscribers doesn't really mean a lot to me. I'd rather see uh, views, comments, likes. That really means. Um, well, I mean, like subscribers means a lot because you know the more subscribers you get, the way uh, it, it, people look at your channel differently. But um, me as a content creator, I know people are watching and liking my stuff when they watch and like my stuff. So, um, anyways, like the D1 GP gameplays are absolutely hilarious. Uh, thank you for taking the time to answer. Um, and you will be getting another G1 GP game. I apologize again, guys. Uh, I didn't, um, I didn't make a, uh, video last week. Any videos last week. Um, uh, mostly because I had a really busy weekend, and bu the weekend is when I record all my videos. So I really, and I couldn't really find time during the week, um, because I was called into work when I was, wasn't supposed to go in. Um, and just things kept coming up, and things kept coming up, so. I apologize. Uh, it sucks that I have to keep doing that, but... Hey, thanks for my question about Gran Turismo, and my next question is, do you know Slap Train? And if you do, can you make a tandem video with him if you know him that good? And if Forza 4 has a sign FRS, uh, can you make a video on that? Uh, me and Slap Train know each other. We've known each other for a while. I usually pop my, pop in his open lobbies for a little while when he has them, because he's way, way, way more um, open lobby oriented, I guess. He does a lot more. Like, it does at least two a week. To my knowledge, live streams at least once a week. Um, he's got way more time on his hands than I do. Um, and I don't mean that maliciously, I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, I know Slap Train. I know he's wanted to work on something with me for a while, and I've wanted to work on something for a while. So I don't know. You could be seeing an arrow in Slap Train video in the near future. It's Posse Brew. Um, do you have any tips for tandeming? I can do it sometimes, but usually I spin out trying to keep up. Um, if you can't really keep up, then just don't try. Um, you know, if you're falling behind, then it's just, you're just, it's gonna look worse that, that you're trying to keep up. Most of the time, I usually just, if I start falling behind, I just, you know, finish out my run the way it's supposed to be. Um, if you really are set on keeping up with the guy, try running less camber in the rear, like if running negative camber. Because, of course, you're not running positive camber. If you're running a little bit of negative camber in the rear, try setting it to 0, 0. Um, and just try to keep yourself on the throttle as much as you can. Uh, and if you still can't keep up, then maybe try switching cars. And if you still can't keep up, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, so you said if you ever got a wheel, it'd be Logitech. Would you, then you wouldn't be able to play Forza with it. Yeah, but I already have a Microsoft wheel. That's I, I said that last week, um, or two weeks ago, whatever. Um, ever played Live for Speed? Yes, I have. I played, like, the trial, but on the keyboard, so I only played it for, like, a week, and then my computer crashed anyway, so, um, yeah, I've played it, and I, when I get my new computer built, I plan on saving up for a wheel, and then when I get the wheel, I plan on buying games like Live for Speed and R Factor and, and uh, iRacing and stuff like that. If Forza added motorcycles in the game, would it mean, make the game more interesting, and would you like it more than any other games? They would have to do it right. You wouldn't be able to run motorcycles against cars, because that'd be stupid, because cars could just ram motorcycles out of the way, and if they make it so, like, cars can't hit motorcycles off, like, can't hit the riders off on motorcycles, um, then that'd be dumb, too, because then it's not a sim, and that's kind of what Forza is, is, like, an art, an art, like, an arcade Sort of, I'm, I'm not even going to bother trying to classify it, but it's kind of, it's not full sim, but it's, it's the best we're going to get in a console, on at least on Xbox. Um, I think it'd be a cool addition, but I'm not going to cry for motorcycles, I'm not going to like throw, you know, I'm not going to freak out, but I think if they would make it motorcycles, it'd have to be like a standalone mode, like you couldn't run motorcycles against cars, or it'd have to be a standalone game. Um, that's just my opinion, because I figured it would be too difficult to keep the sim feel and then uh have motorcycles okay hello arrow someone's copying kev um don't fuck up youtube pms again please will you do a garage video for forza uh for forza 4 or horizon i have done a garage video for forza 4 i did one probably about six months ago i can try doing another one if you'd like and my horizon garage is not 
that extensive. Um, when you get a new COD game, do you ask it for a date, play the campaign, or go straight for the rape multiplayer? Um, usually I start off playing the campaign. I usually wait and play the campaign all the way through in one sitting. And then I start going on the multiplayer, so I understand like the guns and the maps and stuff like that. But with Black Ops 2, I haven't touched the campaign yet. I don't know why. Uh, I've been waiting for a whole day, but uh, I've got a week off. I'm on March. I'm on uh, spring break, so I may uh, I may pop it in sometime this week and give her a whirl. Uh, list of cars I want you to do for Build a Drift to kill it. Any Maserati, Jag XFR, XKR, Lancia Delta, Fiat 500. G37, Spiker C8, Lotus Carlton, MG, MGB GT, and the Renault Clio RS. Uh, okay, I don't know. I'll keep that in mind. There's a couple of those on the list that I wanted to do anyway, so that works. Um, and then here's the last one, and we're almost under 15 minutes. So, would you give up your YouTube career for an S14 Sylvia? Give me two reasons for any answer. Uh, shit. I don't think I could do it. Honestly, because YouTube makes me so happy in terms of, you know, helping people or entertaining people or whatever. Um, it gives me something to do in my spare time. And it's I enjoy making videos. That's the whole reason I do it. If I don't, if I didn't, I wouldn't be doing it. Um, so there's the enjoyment. Um, I like that. I don't know. It's kind of cool um, to make money off of playing video games. I'll be honest. Like, I'm a partner. I make money. Um... So if I really wanted to, I could start saving up my YouTube money for a Sylvia. But uh, I don't make enough yet. So I have to use it for things, did stuff, con what? Um, but uh, I think that I, I would be letting you guys down. Um, so we're going to ignore the money because that's just obvious. Um, I think that I enjoy it too much. And uh, I would be letting you guys down. That's the big one. I think I'd, if I sold out... You know, if somebody gave me an S14 and said, oh, but you have to stop making videos, I'd be like, it would be tempting. It would be really, really, really tempting. But um, I don't think I could more so that I would be letting you guys down. And there's like 11,000 of you that are expecting videos from me at least, you know, a couple times a month. And if I left you without a moment's notice for a car, that's just kind of silly, right? Uh, well, that's what I think, and that's my opinion. That's Ask Arrow. So I hope you guys liked it. Uh, if you have questions, make sure to send them to my YouTube inbox, and I will answer them next week. Um, just try to get them in before Sunday. That's when I record the audio for this. Sorry for making you watch Call of Duty, and um, I'll see you next week. Peace!